An ocean is a huge body of salt water. Oceans cover nearly 71% of Earth's surface. They contain almost 98% of all the water on Earth. There is one world ocean, but it is divided into five main areas. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, and the Southern, or Antarctic Ocean. Together, they can be seen as one world ocean because they have no real borders and water flows freely between them. Smaller parts of these oceans are called seas, gulfs, and bays. Scientists estimate that about one million species of animals live in the ocean, but most of them, 9 to 5%, are invertebrates, animals that don't have a backbone, such as a jellyfish and shrimp. Living things inhabit all levels of Earth's oceans. Ocean plants grow fairly close to the water's surface because they need sunlight to stay alive. Sunlight penetrates the water to only about 656 feet. The most numerous ocean plants are called phytoplankton. Those tiny, one-celled plants drift with the ocean currents. Various kinds of seagrass and other plants also grow in the world's oceans. Seaweeds, which are plant-like forms of algae, are plentiful as well. Like ocean plants, most ocean animals live in shallower water. This is because there are more plants and animals to eat near the water surface. But animals also can be found in deep water, including within the ocean's deepest, darkest trenches. The largest ocean animal is the blue whale. No larger animal has ever lived on Earth. The tiniest animals are a form of plankton called zooplankton. Hundreds of thousands of other types of animals also live in the ocean. These include clams, crabs, squid, dolphins, and many different kinds of fish. Corals and sea anemones look like plants, but they are animals, too. The world's oceans are important to life on Earth. Oceans are a great source of food for people around the world. They also provide minerals, oil, and natural gas. Phytoplankton and algae create much of the world's oxygen. The words ocean and sea are often used to mean the same thing. A sea, however, is a small area of an ocean, usually with land on several sides. You probably know that plants need water to survive, but did you know that some plants can live completely in seawater? Sea plants have special adaptations that help them survive in the sea habitat. Seagrass is exactly what its name suggests. These are grasses that have strong roots that can withstand the movement of sea waters, which can sometimes get pretty strong. It might seem pretty strange to see a tree growing right out of the water, but that's exactly what mangroves do. These are trees or bushes that grow in and around seas. Like seagrass, mangroves have very strong root systems. Coral reefs are found in many tropical seas throughout the world. Thousands of species live in coral reefs. These include many types of coral, seahorses, multicolored fish, lobsters, octopuses, sea urchins, starfish, and sea anemones. Sea anemones are small animals that look like bright flowers with skinny petals. They attach themselves to rocks, corals, and other underwater surfaces. Then, they wait until a tasty treat like a shrimp floats along. The parts that look like flower petals are actually poisonous tentacles that zap their prey. Pretty but dangerous. Luckily for sea anemones, there are lots of small sea animals that they can eat especially if they live in a coral reef. Other than shrimp and small fish, they also eat something called plankton, which includes many tiny animals and animal eggs. Plankton floats along in the water and provides food for quite a few sea creatures. There are some large sea creatures that snack on plankton as well. Sea turtles eat plankton, crabs, small fish, and other sea creatures. These gentle animals have been around for millions of years. Scientists believe that they were around at the time of the dinosaurs. 
Since seas are extensions of oceans and the waters are connected, other large marine animals can be found in seas as well. Sharks, dolphins, and even whales are found in sea environments. There are some sea animals that spend some of their time in the water and other times around the sea coastlines, like sea lions. When you travel to the sea, there's no telling what kind of creature you may encounter. That's all time we have for today's video, Ocean Life. Like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to press the bell icon so you won't miss any updates.